you know as i matured i figured out that more than the horse power of the car it's mm. it's about playing with the chassis and the brakes your love for cars obviously your second or first love you would say <laughs> movies <laughs> first love first love <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i i'm getting my first porsche in 3 oh. 4 months hello and welcome back to yet another episode of talking cars with kalakar generally on the show i ask the guests if they are car enthusiasts but today we have naga chaitanya do i have to ask you this question <laughs> not really <laughs> it's quite obvious so where did this love start from Where did this love start from? I think it was my growing up days in Chennai. So the race track Sri Parmadur was yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. MMRT was very close by, you know, was an hour hour and a half from home. Nice. So I used to spend the weekends there watching the, you know, local saloon car races and the Fizmi races and all that. So yeah, so it slowly grew from there and Formula 1 happened, Michael Schumacher happened. Right. So it started from home, like the interest in cars. Yeah, I would say yeah, from home. It was there. It, you know, uh, dad always liked uh, mm. tasteful cars. Also, I, like I said, being close to the track, I think really sort of fast track that interest uh, right. at a very early age. So, have you ever thought of being a racer instead of an actor? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, all the time, all the time. I, I, I had, I had posters of. all my favorite f1 drivers posters of all my favorite race cars oh, road nice. cars so yeah i just grew up in that world nice obviously it's become a hobby i enjoy thoroughly right now but right. yeah i would I, i would never do well being a f1 f1 race or any racer for that fact so i just enjoy it as a hobby okay yeah. okay so have you ever driven an electric no i've or... tried to stay away from them as much as possible to be honest to you full electric i've never driven okay yeah because i know this is the future and this is where you know technology every the world is going but i don't know man i'm it's i'm 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 a purist i'd like to say that so i like the petrol in the engine you know honestly i'm not surprised by your answer looking at the cars that you own because clearly that says that you are a proper petrol head right <laughs> so do you want to take the conversation inside sure okay. let's do it let's go So first of all do you like cars and motorcycles or just cars No I I <laughs> because I know you own some more like sweet motorcycles Yeah 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 L- actually the love actually started off a lot with motorcycles right and then uh, cars happened along the way mm. but now I just prefer you know being behind the wheel mm. than a motorcycle I don't know somewhere because my profession sort of influenced me for this decision because a mo- car the probabilities are a lot less you know in terms sure. of if if something goes wrong unfortunately you have more margin for error yeah you have more margin for error with the motorcycle it's 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 pretty scary you know that thought i do love my job being an actor very much right. i'm quite obsessed about it so I, i don't want to sort of put that in risk also in any hmm. way and then when you're doing a film so many people depend on you hmm. 150 plus people we work as a team and you know there's so much money put on the film so i wouldn't want to do anything to sabotage that right. so it's 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 just a sort of a fine balance i'm trying to strike i i love speed so hmm. i'm you know just enjoying it more through the yeah, and doing it in a controlled environment just absolutely makes sense. absolutely absolutely so now growing up uh, i've heard that in your family as well there are some really interesting cars right yeah. so what is your first memory of say going on a road trip or what is your fondest memory growing up dad's first uh, you know proper mm. supercar that he owned in india mm. i was told is a was a porsche 911 although i don't have any memory of it okay but uh, I think road trips you know uh, my mom used to take me to Kodaikanal every year I used to live in Chennai so we mm. used to drive to Kodaikanal every year so almost 12 years in a row uh, oh, all nice. my life in Chennai uh, uh-huh. I remember these road trips to Kodaikanal uh-huh. uh, that was a lovely drive uh, used to drive to Madurai break for lunch and then the ghat section comes to go up to you know where you climb up the hill to Kodaikanal right, right. so those road trips were very very uh, memorable When I after I came to Hyderabad, uh, friends and I uh, we used to ride a lot. So used to drive often to Hampi, ride often to Hampi. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was a good seven eight hour uh, bike ride, which mm-hmm. we enjoyed a lot thoroughly. Apart from that, driving to Goa, 
that's hmm. something we did religiously uh, six to seven years. Oh, from where? From uh, from Hyderabad. From Hyderabad. Yeah, it's yeah, a fourteen, yeah. fifteen hour drive. Right. It was a long drive back then. Uh. Now I'm sure you can do it in twelve, thirteen. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was again a very, very memorable. Uh, and Goa used to be really nice. Right? Yeah, I'm, for, for me, Goa is second home. So uh, any excuse to go there. But yeah, road trips to Goa, Hampi, and Kodaikanal. Okay. These these were quite. Now, a very interesting uh, question. Which car did you learn to drive on? <laughs> Which car did I learn to drive on? Uh, 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 in Chennai, uh, the, you remember this Fiat Palio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called the Palio, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, this 1.2 litre Fiat uh, Palio. Oh, nice. Yeah, is all my under 18 <laughs> learning happened on that. <laughs> how, how under 18 was that? <laughs> like, I think... Uh, you were 17? Uh, yeah, 15, 16, 17. Used okay. to... 15, 16... So, do you, do you ever used to sneak out? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> like, all the time used to sneak out, take uh. that uh, Palio out and uh, learn uh, learned a lot of driving on that. In fact, I used to do these wheel spins and handbrake turns also. Uh. So, <laughs> the time I got caught is once when I was, you know, uh. I did so many wheel spins on that Palio that the drive shaft uh, popped out <laughs> eventually. <laughs> and then at home, they were like, what is going on? So, after that, uh. <laughs> things changed. Okay. But yeah, crazy memories with okay. uh, Palio. I shifted to Hyderabad when I was uh, 19, 20. Mm. So, at that point of time, dad was doing a film hmm. where uh, they were using a couple of motorcycles in the film. Uh, it was a part of the film. I remember it was a Yamaha R1 hmm. and uh, I think it was a Honda uh, CBR 1000. Right. So, that's when I actually got the taste of, you know, these 1000cc litre class uh, super bikes. Hmm. And uh, yeah, I was I was 18 plus then. So, okay. I, you know, I got to ride oh, it amazing. and yeah, it just blew my mind. Especially the acceleration. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was crazy. But um, also, you know, his dad was like, you, you should not start off on such uh, big bikes, you know. That's so you important. Need, yeah, you need to learn and uh, if you fall on one of these, you're not going to be excused. You know, mm. you make a mistake on one of these. So, I remember, uh, went back and uh, the first bike I had bought, although mm. <laughs> not so small, was a CBR mm. 600. Right. So, that was my first sort of proper super bike that I want the CBR 600. Oh nice, that's a very sweet motorcycle. Very, very sweet motorcycle. Not too powerful but yeah. beautiful handling. No, powerful man, very powerful. Yeah, 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 but yeah. Which bike did you learn on? Uh, lots of bikes, like yeah. lots of bikes. Like, uh, usually the answer comes with uh, RX 100. Huh, RX 100, no more my time. I think in college, uh, the, the CBZ. 100. Oh, nice. Yeah, then the, 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 that was the, huh, yeah, it was 150, 100, huh? 150, 157 cc. Yeah, 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 some, yeah, the CBZ, yeah, yeah. lot of memories on that. Achha. Friends had that, and then the charisma. Yeah, charisma, then the mopeds. So I remember there was this, uh, the Dio, the Honda Dio. Yeah, yeah Honda Dio. Yeah, yeah, a <laughs> lot of fun stuff on the Honda Dio. Oh, nice. Yeah. So now talking about college, uh, I'm sure you must be having some fond memories like going for road trips with friends. Something funny must, must have happened or just something special must have happened. If you can just share something. So college, uh, to the car experience in college was, I was heavily, a lot of my time mm. was spent on this Lancer. Uh -huh. My uh, dad, you know, bought me this Lancer, which I decided that time they used to have these things called the half cut from Malaysia. Right. Uh, they sell you the front half of the car. Correct. Okay, so I remember I bought a used Lancer then. Uh -huh. Dad got me a used Lancer and then I flew down to Malaysia and I sourced a half cut <laughs> of, a, they, uh, of a Lancer there. But in the Lancer uh. there, they used to put in this engine called the Mivec engine. It was a 1.6 yes. litre yes, variable yes. Uh, uh, valve time, valve time uh, engine. Yeah. So I went, I bought a half cut of that, brought it back to India and put it oh. in the Indian Lancer. So that, you know, two, three years of my life went off in just putting that together. Wow. The first time I put it together, obviously things are not going to happen your way, you know. So many things went wrong. Uh, I blew the engine <laughs> one year and then... Uh, Question is how many times? <laughs> yeah, I blew the engine luckily only once. That's only once. So okay. then getting parts for that, rebuilding it. So oh, sweet. a lot of the time in college, uh, mm -hmm. when I was, uh, you know, not at college, went went about just putting this car together and enjoying it. Nice. And of course, the movie Fast and Furious, the Furious happened. Yeah, yeah. So, NOS, like we were just obsessed with NOS. So, put <laughs> NOS in there and, and did all that stuff. You also had modified a Swift, right? 
Yeah, so uh, I mean this Lancer as much as I enjoyed it it gave me trouble every week. So and after <laughs> one point dad was like dude what are you doing you have spent more money repairing the car than the value of the car itself. Uh, so he was like no I'm not giving you any more pocket money or, to you know to fix this thing. Uh, so then I decided okay let me do something a little more reliable and sustainable. Uh, so then the Maruti Swift uh, had come to India then they launched yeah, it and I I was in love with that car I always liked hatchbacks yeah, for yeah. some reason this so it fun. was like a hatchback yeah like it was hatch. like a hot cool hot hatch so yeah, it was yeah. so much fun and and hatchbacks are fun to drive yes you know easy to repair yeah easy to repair it's it's you know and you get get into a turn you see sand in the corner pull the <laughs> handbrake and you can like really you know uh, take the corner so hatchbacks are so good at that mm. so yeah got this swift uh, you know ported and polished the engine uh oh, put in wow. like you know bought some headers an air filter and uh, uh, so you said you learned driving on the palio right? right which was the first car that you bought or rather the first car that you got from say But when i started making money which was your first car no uh, before you started uh, b- before you started making money which was your first car the so first car was the lancer which lancer. my dad yeah uh, okay. got me then lancer then uh, went to the swift and uh then the the first first car yeah then i had a crv oh okay. yeah but then the first first like my my car was mm-hmm. the the honda accord the v6 3 liter oh, v6 nice. yeah yeah so when they oh uh, this it, is the second gen yeah the second gen yeah, yeah the second okay. gen the second gen nice. v6 that was a lot more powerful yeah it was a lot more powerful but again it was an automatic box so yeah. not much you can do with it but still a 3 liter v6, v6. engine that time was like <gasps> <laughs> Did you modify that as well? No. Uh, just put some oh. rims and you know put an exhaust, exhaust, a, bo- a Borla yeah. exhaust. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, so <clears throat> that was grew up a lot with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, that was like my first first car. Okay. Uh, then the first actual I, at that point of time uh, at home, uh, mm. dad had the BMW M6. Oh. Nice. Yeah, so the OG M6, you know, the right. V10, the actual BMW V10. Right. I mean, I was obsessed looking at that car. Just you <laughs> used to want to like cold start it every day. Uh, And you know, hear all that the, the you know the cold start sound. Bubble. Yeah, oh. it's like so it's howling. It's like <laughs> getting everyone's attention around you. So, yeah, that that was like my first close proximity supercar mm. that I lived with. Right. Uh, and from there there was no looking back. you know it was no looking back i knew this is the direction <laughs> my car should be in you know so right now you have the, the so, 488 yeah 488 my mm-hmm. dream car uh, before ah. before this was uh, my first super car that i owned was a nissan gtr oh nice. yeah that i uh, picked up from uh, mr narain kartikeyan oh. so that was a very very memorable car uh, mm. and you also must have modified it yeah, obviously yeah obviously like any <laughs> gtr owner and, uh, all happy you know all horsepower happy let's get them how much horsepower out. happy is the question i mean what yeah, does it make it i think i took it to about 800 odd okay. horsepower not bad yeah not bad i didn't go berserk yeah, they yeah, were, you don't want to break the engine yeah, the yeah there were people doing like 1300 1500 and all yeah, yeah, yeah. tuning it to that but 800 itself was wild in mm. that car i took it to the track a few times uh, the the thing with the gtr it's front engine and so a lot of understeer uh-huh. so you know at, at after a point and it's a heavy car yep. so after yep. a point i'm like how much power you going to put into this because all you're doing is managing the power rather Correct. than actually enjoying it like unless Correct. you're going to drag these cars yeah. drag race them there's yeah. you no know, out on everything yeah basically. yeah so yeah. you know as i matured uh, I, i i figured out that more than the horse power of the car it's mm. it's about uh, you know playing with the chassis and the brakes uh also you know yeah. you only think about hitting peak horsepower but uh, you don't think about how the, the car suspension. makes you feel when yeah, you actually exactly. experience yeah exactly yeah yeah tuning you know yeah. getting the right suspension setup or mm. getting the right uh, brake uh, setup so right that's what i sort of learned with the gtr you know it's just not mm. about horsepower and at at some point i had to let that go biggest mistake of my life because uh, <laughs> you know i i was i i had to choose you know i couldn't have two cars right um, i had i had budget to you know just keep one so mm. then i wanted to the the ferrari was my poster car for a very very like for the longest time 
Uh, I grew up with a poster of you know Michael Schumacher, Ferrari, nice. uh, you know the 430, 458 in front of my bed. <laughs> yeah, there was an opportunity to pick up a 488, and uh, yeah, Amazing. yeah. So I had to let go of the GTR. Unfortunately, uh, and yeah, I bought the four eight eight. But uh, you also owned the F four thirty, right? Yeah, that's something Dad had. Uh, But do you miss the nationally aspirated engine of oh that car? Oh man, seriously, seriously, like it, those cars were so involving. Mm. You know, they you could just feel everything. You know, they had so much character. Mm. Everything was analog. You know, yeah. the car yeah. spoke to you. I really miss that feeling. Recently, I I drove the two nine six. Yeah, on paper it's brilliant, man. Mm. Like so efficient. Like the way the power yeah. kicks. The in. hybrid. System yeah, works. yeah, yeah. The way it handles, mm. it's so precise. But yeah. I mean, all the buttons are digital. You know, I'm not I'm not able to click a button. Uh. I I I I press the yeah, start stop. Yeah, all feather touch. Yeah, right? all feather touch. I press yeah, yeah. the start stop button. I didn't know if the car was on or off or what. There's a screen telling me, okay, the car is switched on now. Yeah. Uh, It starts in EV mode. I yeah, think. I mean like really is this where we're headed? I know, I know that's where the world is headed and uh, I think this is where we are headed. <laughs> yeah, this is like a full EV. <laughs> yeah. Then I believe you know there's there's sound coming out of the speakers to yeah. you know <laughs> to give you the, the The character of the engine, but I was so disappointed. But unfortunately, that's where we're headed. But I'm I'm trying to just keep myself away from those machines as, as much as, as possible. possible. Yeah, till it's like no, you you know, there's no more petrol engines running. <laughs> uh, they're, they're banned by the government. So hmm. until that point, I'm just trying to keep myself away from those. In fact, uh, I've been calling. all my car friends and you know people who sort of deal with cars and all mm-hmm. that i'm trying to source manuals now i want to go back and buy those old school manuals and just park them and you know just grow old with them so you never dreamt of owning a porsche because uh, yeah well i i'm getting my first porsche in 3 oh. 4 months oh, the nice. yeah the 3rs <laughs> I've been wow. waiting for my allotment for a year and a half. I finally, the car's gone into production, so oh, I'm wow. getting it in. Probably. No, it's it's very difficult to get one. Yeah, I'm no. sure you must be trying to get it for so long. Yeah, it's been a year and a half since you know I put my name <laughs> down, and finally they gave me an allotment in Feb. After fighting with Porsche, I'm like, you, how can you do this? Like, and uh, which color? It's a it's the GT metallic uh, silver. Oh, nice, yeah, subtle. Yeah, yeah, subtle. Yeah, it's that steel. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that color. steel silver. Yeah, yeah. Super. Very, very classic Porsche spec. Um, so yeah, I'm waiting for that. Wow, that that will be like. I would say that is one car. No one will. No one should ever sell. I know, right? Exactly, right. exactly. It's the same thing that you're talking about. Analog, right. nationally right. aspirated. Right, oh. right, right, right. And and I've just been doing so much track driving. You know, how many times do you go through the year? See, I, I, whenever possible. At least at least two times a year. Okay. But the thing is, with the four eight eight, I don't feel like tracking it too much. It's something mm. you want to look after. You want to yeah. like, yeah. You know. Clean it. Have a cup of coffee. Looking at it, you know, just because every time you it's look Italian. at it, it's Italian. Yeah, it's Italian. It's, 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 it's you, you appreciate it. You talk right. about it. It's 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 all that. You know, I right. don't feel like going and pushing it at the track. It's something I want to cold start. You know, take it on the ORR for a drive. Just upshift and downshift at any excuse. You know, hear the blip and yeah, that's that's what that's so, all about. So that car, how many times do you drive in Hyderabad or around Hyderabad? Or you rarely like must be going early in the morning or something. Yeah, like it's usually Sunday mornings. Okay. Or uh, you know friends' houses. Uh, so it, definitely once a week at least. Ach- I yeah. believe these cars, bikes, you they need all to need. Use yeah, them. you yeah. need to use them. Uh, otherwise, they they're not going to be very happy with you. <laughs> uh, you need to use them. And uh, I mean, I find so many people talking about. these cars not being reliable and all that but mm. i'm saying it's okay that's part of owning the car you know it's if if something goes wrong enjoy taking it to the workshop enjoy sitting there looking at the mechanic fixing it enjoy going on to forums reading about what everyone else has to bitch about it and they're giving you solutions you know <laughs> i'm saying enjoy this process so about cars being so reliable these days also is not fun yeah No. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, for everyday cars. Yes. For everyday cars, yeah. I agree. They need to be reliable. But yeah. I'm saying, the, the, you know, these hobby cars that mm. that that you that you so end up gr- buying. So growing up, clearly, you must have had a dream car, right? Right. 
must be a ferrari yeah ferrari is 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 like my was always mm-hmm. my dream mm-hmm. now to think about it like off late uh, you know konigsegg is a brand i really really respect so i think a life dream would be to someday maybe own a konigsegg and ah. the ferrari the competizione oh yeah the 812 man it's like i'm obsessed with that so that's a dream car right now oh wow yeah. and plus a v12 right yeah it's a v12 i don't think they you're going to see that uh, any time soon ah. anymore any more v12s on the road so so which is your daily driver which car do you like generally <laughs> daily driver is i i go around in a wellfire <laughs> actually it's surprisingly good right that car is very good <laughs> i mean there's no stress yeah. it's a toyota it's not going to give up on you you know takes, exactly the opposite what you said yeah <laughs> exactly your, your daily driver yeah, yeah. not going to give up on you no stress it's 1 mm. uh, lakh kilometers also it's going to react the same way yeah it's just run in period for the car yeah. one lakh like, <laughs> yeah exactly it's a toyota <laughs> exactly so yeah respect to that and yeah that's what i go around in every day nice uh, so what about suvs do you because now everyone is moving towards suvs yeah. right so now we spoke about sports cars that's your main like right. m- uh, that's your love right, right? but for mobility so yeah suvs i mean i think uh, for our standard standard indian roads hmm. no hard feelings suvs are the cars <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> okay because but in hyderabad actually the roads are pretty good so over here it's not really an issue i would yeah say. it's not but i i'm telling you i'm i'm just so possessive about the cars that in a sedan you know when by mistake you drop it in a pothole and you maybe yeah. the front bumper just sort uh. of touches my heart breaks I can't I can't live with it and you know so I rather you know if with an SUV or no you know things are sort of safe it's okay bad roads an un- unexpected speed breaker or an unexpected rock on the road also you can navigate through it right so yeah SUV is uh, right now it's uh, uh, I have a V8 Defender mm-hmm. so that's what I just oh, got nice. recently uh, I've I've always been a the new one yeah the new one I've yeah. been a Defender fan from the time I was a kid you know looked at these OG Defenders, OG Defenders. Yeah, yeah yeah so been a fan uh, previously I, I similar with the G wagon as well yeah I had the G wagon also okay uh, for me yeah the G wagon is 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 more of a it's an event yeah Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you, now you're going to go out in a G wagon you look at me <laughs> yeah look at me so after a point uh, I, i i don't like so much attention when i'm driving when i'm uh, driving it's 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 a place where i want to let go it's it's sort of my meditative space right so it i i want that uninterrupted time for myself so mm. uh, i think it, for that welfare is perfect Welfare yeah welfare in the back seat and go but yeah when i'm mm. with the defender v8 i i feel it's a little more understated right uh, yeah, but at the yeah. same time it's it's it's, it's you know the 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 roots of the defender are very pure there's so mm. much heritage to it true so you also drive quite a bit on the track you've also driven the cup cars yeah right? yeah got a at mmrt there recently the you know not recently i think from mm. couple of years back they've been mm. starting to uh, rent out the cup cars on right. the track there the vw the etios and the yeah the etios and the polos uh-huh. i don't think they are the polos anymore but uh, yeah i've driven both of them okay uh and man like amazing like th- i think th- that was my, like my first experience with a car on slicks on racing oh, slicks nice. and you know a roll cage and a harness mm-hmm. and you know what a difference it makes with the suspension setup and great slicks on the car right it's like you can you the car will not give up on you it's it's how long you can last in it you know it's how long your stamina uh, can put up with what an experience like i remember 5 6 7 8 laps the brakes never faded the tires mm-hmm. never gave up and they actually very well built very well built yeah both yeah. the polo cups and the etios cups mm-hmm. uh there's so much of learning actually that happens when you drive those cars because mm-hmm. uh, with with the super cars you're just sitting and figuring out how to manage the power right you know you're just banging it on the straights then you're braking and then you're getting into the corner obviously you know with not the best line and you're either oversteering or understeering and then you're coming out of the corner with too much power right. you know that's what happens you know when you uh, take a supercar onto these tracks without too much experience obviously right. with time you do right. you do learn your mistakes but i mean you're you're eating up tires you're eating up brakes you're 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 really putting so much mm. load on the cars so 
uh, and even those MRF tires, they yeah. just last forever. Seriously, seriously. And what like uh, I, I heard it was like ten, twelve thousand bucks for a set of tires or something. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. they were saying. I, you know, my advice to anyone who wants to drive on the track, you know, start mm. with these, you know, just mm. learn to manage this part, just learn the lines on these cars, learn the braking points, the turn-ins, when to sort of uh, accelerate out of the corner, right. you know, and then, then slowly progress up. So now, moving from your love for cars, obviously, mm. your second or first love, you would say? Movies? <laughs> Movies, first love. First love? <laughs> all of Second love, cars. Achha. <laughs> okay. Sometimes first, but no, I'll give it to movies. <laughs> movies right, right. First. So, your upcoming movie, Tandel, if you want yeah, to so talk about it a little bit. Sure, sure, sure. Tandel. Uh, because the trailer looks amazing, right? right. Especially the way it is shot right, and everything. It right. looks amazing. Right, right. And there's a love story there as well. Yes, yes. Uh, Thandale is a film I've been working on for quite some time. It's a very, very special film for me. Mm. Because uh, firstly, I've never attempted this kind of a character before, this kind of a texture. It's based on some true incidents that happened in 2018 mm. about uh, these fishermen from uh, Srikakulam. Usually they go to Gujarat, mm -hmm. take the boats from there and go out fishing. Mm -hmm. uh, so in one of their trips, they, they sort of drift off into Pakistan waters okay. and they get caught by the Pakistan uh, Navy mm -hmm. and put into Pakistan jail uh, and, and just their journey, they're in jail for about a year, year and a half and how they eventually come out. So, just their journey through these times. Mm. It's a very, very interesting story. Very inspiring mm. actually, I would say. Right. Uh, listening to, you know, when I, I actually went and met them, uh, spent some time with them and uh, learnt a lot uh, mm. and what they went through. And, and if, there is a beautiful love story also sort of mm. intertwined with all this, which genuinely happened. Like how uh, the, the character, his name is Raju, his girlfriend uh, over here, uh, at that time, now they're married. So, uh, how she actually fought for these people mm. over here in India and motivated the government at that point of time to, you know, right. for their release and all that. So, it's a very, very inspiring story. I'm so glad I've gotten an opportunity to tell this. And it's with, it's with a great team, in fact. Uh, it's directed by Chandu Mondeti. I've done a couple of films with him uh, okay. before. Mm -hmm. uh, Premam and Savya Sachi. Right. Uh, it's produced by Geeta Arts, a very, very respected uh, mm. production house. Mm. They've, you know, delivered some of the biggest hits in uh, Telugu film industry. Right. And uh, Sai Pallavi is, uh, uh, is uh, you know, paired opposite me. Mm. Uh, someone, um, you know, I worked with before in this film called Love Story. Mm -hmm. It's it's done very well for us. So, so glad I'm getting to share screen space with her again. So, yeah. On the whole uh, project, I'm really looking forward to. Uh, Even Via, yeah, for thanks, sure. Thanks, like, Amir, thanks. Going back to a bit of cars. Yeah. Right? Yes, let's so talk about cars. Yes. <laughs> so, what is that one feature? Huh. So, you own a lot of cars huh. today. But what is that one feature which is still not there on cars that you want? A feature that you want to invent? That I want to... Maybe, maybe it might be wacky, weird. Okay. It will be very personal to you. There are a lot of features I want to remove. <laughs> From present day cars. Perfect. <laughs> Lots I want to remove. <laughs> Can you give some examples? <laughs> like all these interventions that happen when you uh, when you want to go berserk with the car. First of uh, all, I don't like the fact that handbrakes are electronic. I want the old school, <laughs> you know, button press and pull up handbrake. Uh, okay, then I don't... I, these stability controls, man, I mean, how much, like, little bit you press the throttle, your dashboard is going beep, 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 beep. So, that whole, I know it's great and it's great for safety also. Mm. And it has saved my ass in many situations. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I would, I, okay, I let all the electronics be there. I want mm. the traditional handbrake. Mm. I want, I want that traditional handbrake back. Yeah, that's something I really miss. Nice. Mm. Um, now you drive yourself, mm. right? And you are very popular. Mm. So, are there any funny cop incidents? Yeah, yeah. Not funny, serious cop incidents. Achha, serious. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, the regular, the, I think most of the stuff is like, 
for speeding on the the ORR here has a speed limit of 80 <laughs> it's a very you know <laughs> i mean i do not urge anyone to break speed limits but it's very difficult staying at 80, 80. you know <laughs> when you're driving <laughs> you know a 1000 cc bike or a, uh, an eight cylinder supercar it's very yeah, difficult yeah, yeah. so yeah those 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 incidents are there but fortunately uh, nothing more than that and i would also urge you know car enthusiasts so youngsters you know i mean don't don't it's 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 not only a risk to your life but also yeah. the people who are driving in driving the same right. space as you yeah. so you know go i mean in india now there's so many opportunities there are great race tracks all around mm. go there enjoy your cars enjoy your bikes there right. yeah amazing yeah. so uh <clears throat> so you must have driven abroad as well quite a bit yes right yes. so which is that one road maybe you weren't driving then Right. and you want to go back and drive uh i I'll or maybe you went you drove then you're like wow i want to come back and drive again over here so uh i w- definitely want would love to go back and drive i went you know went for film school to la uh-huh. and then there's this uh, there's this route called uh, pacific highway 1 that mm-hmm. goes from san francisco to la uh-huh. and i did drive that road it's it's okay. beautiful i mean mm. there's so many memories on that drive that's something i would definitely want to go back and drive on mm-hmm. now you know uh, right. just just probably rent something amazing you know mm. uh, and just mm. drive there apart from that my dream i've not i've never been on the nurburgring i watched so many videos of the nurburgring the the notch life it's not the life yeah the long yeah. the long one yeah, yeah nice. so uh, so that's 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 a dream that's a bucket list i want to tick right uh, soon mm, i keep hearing so much about the autobahn yeah. yeah i'm curious about it but i'm not a guy who straight line yeah i'm not a straight line guy <laughs> i want i want corners i want to like break i want to downshift i want to take that corner so right uh, yeah so autobahn okay uh, mm. and then i've heard so much about uh, you know driving in italy and driving in france right. uh, amalfi coast uh. Uh, so yeah these but but yeah the north life and also some really uh, another iconic race track is this ascari uh, race yeah. resort yeah. you know ascari yeah. so that's 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 a place i want to visit uh, in yeah. portimao i believe uh, they have a whole buffet of cars that you can sort of rent and True. drive on the track like track ready cars and also some single seater uh, formula cars that you can rent so that's something i really want to experience oh that's amazing yeah so you you have never experienced an ev before right no i think this is the right one to try yeah it's pretty it looks, fast i would say sure it looks mad is this okay yeah stop See, I think whenever you have the opportunity, if you can just stop on the left, sure, and then launch the car once, well, whatever the speed limit is over here, hundred, sure. now go sure. to hundred, sure. just see the, it's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I don't want to build it up for you. <laughs> see, even now, if you floor it, once. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, really builds up. Oh, that was man! You can really put some speed on it, oh, without knowing. Yeah, yeah. You don't even drive because yeah. there's no noise. Yeah. So now you've been driving the elect, driving an electric car for a while. Yeah. This is your first experience. Yes. So, what's your take on electric cars, especially? Let Let us put some context. A uh, supercar owner talking about electric cars. Now go ahead, please. <laughs> with a fire breathing V8 engine see uh, all due respect to these guys who have engineered this you know it's 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 great i mean mm. the handling is precise mm. the power delivery i i have power whenever i want the yeah. torque is is insane you know yeah. but i mean it's not involving it's 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 not something i'll go back home and desire to have Oh, uh, I I I don't hear I I'm hearing a wine. <laughs> uh, where where is the where is you know the smell of the clutch where is the smell of uh, the petrol burning I know, I know it's not good for this world 
but yeah. I, I'll I'll make other lifestyle compromises, huh? To want to still keep the petrol burning. I I promise I'll do that. For <laughs> carbon neutrality. Yeah, on your anything, part. You tell me anything, I'll do it. But uh, I mean, yeah, this is an engineering marvel, no hmm. doubt about it. This is an engineering marvel. But am I driving a car to get to point A to point B? No, I'm driving hmm. a car to actually, you know. This is this is poetry for me. I mm. I want to feel the emotion. I want to yeah. be one with it. I want to feel Especially when you're driving yourself. Exactly, right? exactly. Yeah. I want to switch off from the world. I just mm. want to listen to the engine rev. Mm. You know, uh do those upshifts, downshifts, brake, take a corner and just you know, let the car speak to me. I'm not getting yeah. any of that in this. True. Uh if yeah, you tell me you ask me if if che you need to go point a to point b hmm. are you okay with the electric car yeah sure fine i don't mind sitting where you're sitting and someone else is driving for me True. and i'll go but well, it's a generational change i would say absolutely absolutely right. maybe 30 years down the line uh our kids will talk about oh wow that electric car was amazing now the new cars are not that great <laughs> yeah i know yeah. <laughs> so exactly yeah. uh i think you uh phrased it well uh, it's it's i uh, it's the transition that i'm having True. a tough time with <laughs> i'm sure you know our parents also uh car lovers had yeah. the same uh, transitional problem True. back then you know maybe when they experienced cars without absolutely any electronics at all and slowly right. all these electronic aids started coming into play hmm. i'm i'm sure they found it a little odd in the beginning True. but then we adapt and we move on True. but having said that i just want to you know just be around these old school manual uh you know petrol cars as much as possible right yeah cool i think thank you so much i had a great time because obviously talking me being a car enthusiast talking to another car enthusiast and apart from that you being such a big actor but still being a car enthusiast i think thank you so much for your time no thank you so much too i mean i really thoroughly enjoyed uh, this experience because i'm so used to doing film interviews uh, and it feel no questions it, yeah it feels no questions on personal life no questions yeah. on anything <laughs> <laughs> and it, it feels great talking about something you know i really love and something that drives me as much as films hmm. i mean i want to work hard i want to be successful in films i want everyone yeah. to love me as an actor also secretly i want to make as much money as possible so i can just keep <laughs> buying better cars <laughs> oh that's everyone's dream right so thank you so much thank chatanya you, yeah. really was, really lovely. like us coming to hyderabad i think it this just made our day yeah. spending time with you so, thank so you thank you so much so glad to hear that thank you been an absolute pleasure